Hey everybody, hello, it is Coach Cabrini, Gangsta Chefing in my virtual cafe. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Have a seat. Today is really just, I'm just chilling while I'm grilling. That's right, it's gonna be something just low key, just some grilling. I'm gonna be grilling zucchini. Zucchini, the red, I mean, sorry, red, the yellow and the green zucchini. I'm going to cut them in, in thick pieces because when you put them on the grill, you really want to make sure that they are um, thick enough so that it can hold the heat on the grill, right? And then I'm going to be roasting some peppers. Oh, I love these sweet peppers. They're so good. And I'm also going to do some garlic and my most favorite, um, uh, who are you? What is your name? Oh my God, you are Mr. Brussels sprout. I did not like Brussels sprouts, but I'ma tell you, I have found a way to make it absolutely amazing. And then for my meat, because again, this is low carb. I am doing a low carb way of eating and living, right? So I have some shrimp. And what I've done with the shrimp, you guys, is I've taken the shrimp, when I peel it, I leave the tail on because when I'm grilling it, after it comes off, I just wanna pop it in my mouth and pull the tail. The chicken sausage right here, what I'm gonna do with the chicken sausage, I'm gonna split her open and then, y'all know what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna season it and then I'm gonna gangsterize it. That's right. So, all while in my virtual cafe. So, I'm Coach Cabrini, the gangster chef, gangster chefing just for you with food for thought in mind. Now, here's the thing. The topic for today, oh my God. You know, I always pull a topic and as I'm cooking for you, I'm coaching you. This one, oh, it's on relationships. Now, why is that one so near and dear to my heart? Well, my two, I've just gotten two new clients in FTU. FTU is fuck that university, honey, that's right. Finally, understanding common knowledge, things happen all the time, university. And that's where you get to get cleansed from your inside out, right? So, two of my clients are having some major relationship challenges. And when I pull, I never know what I'm gonna pull. And for it, for the universe to conspire, for it to be about relationships, mm, that means I am on the path, you're on the path, and we're gonna get to it when I come back in a virtual cafe. I'll see y'all in a minute, bye. Okay, everybody, welcome back. This is Coach Cabrini. I am Gangsta Chefing in my virtual cafe. So what I'm doing now is showing you how to uh, cut through the casing of a sausage. So what you do is, here's one right here. I don't know if you guys can see it because when I get my crew, that's when y'all will be able to see it. But I want you to take the case, take your knife, and just go down like this, right? You're puncturing it, right? But you do not want to get to the other side because you need this casing to hold together when you put it on the grill. Then you spread it apart like that, right? And once you spread it apart, Y'all see that? It'll look like that when you put it on the grill, right? Now, hold on a second. Wash my hands. And now what I'm gonna do is I am going to season her with some lovely seasonings, okay? Now I'm using, okay, good. Himalayan uh, black pepper garlic pepper, some roasted, I mean some uh, garlic pe garlic powder, and I told you, y'all know I use cappies, cappies, the family black owned cappy seasoning, and spike, okay? So, and then, but before I do that, oh, oh, oh. Hold on, y'all. Y'all know this is gangster style, so look, don't be talking about me. Okay, so listen. Now, I put a little sauce on there. I'm not going to show y'all my sauce. <laughs> but I put a little sauce on. This is my gangster sauce. 
Okay, put a little bit like that, right? And then I'm pushed, ooh, look at that. And I push that in the, in the sausage like that. Y'all see that? Okay. Now, now I take, and I haven't used the same hand, now I'm gonna sprinkle this on top, okay? Put a little garlic on top. Can y'all see that sprinkling in there? Yep, yes you can. And then I'm gonna do some cappy on top. Cappy, cappy. And then a little bit of spike. And a lot of these already have a lot of um, sodium, so you just wanna use a little bit, okay? So now, and my shrimp is also, y'all see the shrimp? It's also seasoned with most of the seasoning, but I've added red pepper flakes and parsley. So, coming back to the virtual cafe in another minute. I'll see you guys. Hold on to your hats. Remember, we're talking about relationships. I'll be right back in the virtual cafe. All right, hey everybody, I'm back in the virtual cafe. Now, as you can see, I am at my grill and I'm working with lights, so y'all gotta work with me here. Oh my Lord, let me see. Maybe I'll, hold on. Let me, so here's my peppers. Remember I told you guys I'm roasting my peppers. Look at that, look how beautiful. You want them to look like that. All right, so that's my roasted peppers. Now they are going to come off because I'm about to, can y'all see me? Okay, good. You can't see me, but I want y'all to hear, okay. So I'm about to put, let me get another tongue, hold on. I'm about to put my sausage. Y'all see that? Mm-mm-mm. Sausage on here. And sometimes, and here's my shrimp, shrimp going on too. Y'all hear the dog? That dog's talking to us. All right, you guys, so I'm going to add more coal to the fire. Do y'all see that? Let me lean up, see if I can lean in. Okay. But, y'all see what I'm talking about. I'm gonna add some coal to this fire so we can get this fire going. Hold on. Y'all ready to see the fire? Well, I'll be back when I add the fire. Hey, everybody. <laughs> Wait, here I am. Hey, everybody. So, that I'm gangster chefing, so that's that, what happens. So, I'll be right back in a virtual cafe. Bye. Y'all hear that dog? Uh, I don't want to come over into the virtual cafe. Mm -mm. You can't have none of this hot dog. Okay, bye y'all. All right, you guys, welcome back to the virtual cafe. I got the fire going and I got my sausages. Now, when you got the flame up that like that, you want to make sure that you are standing near it because you do not want to burn your food and shrimp as you know shrimp doesn't take that long so I don't know can you guys see y'all see the sizzle look at that mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. yes indeed so welcome I am coach Cabrini gangster chefing with food for thought and the topic for today so appropriately is relationships and you know there are all types of relationships there are you know, family relationships, there are personal relationships, there are friendships, there are um, uh, love relationships. And when I finish the meal, when I finish cooking this, I'm going to deep dive into my viewpoint on relationships. So y'all come back, now you're here, I'll see you in a minute. Hey everybody, it's Coach Cabrini. Welcome back to my virtual cafe. Hey, hey, hey. All right, so here's the thing. When you are cooking, 
Can y'all see me? When you are cooking, you have to be ready to switch some shit up. At first, today I was gonna cook for you guys some grilled vegetables with uh, spiral zucchini on, uh, with shrimp on top. Well, mm, 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 I'm changing it up. So now what I'm switching to is I'm gonna have a basil garlic butter sauce and I'm gonna saute the vegetables in that. Okay, here's my, ooh, look at that, that uh, pesto. Did I say basil? Basil pesto, okay. All right, so that's what I'm doing. I'm putting that in there, okay. Y'all hear that sizzle? Ooh. Y'all hear that? Okay, y'all see that? Okay, so, I'm doing that. Now I'm going to add Brussels sprouts, because they're gonna take the longest, and the zucchini together. Okay, y'all see that? Because my meat is already cooked on the grill. All right. I'm turning the fire up so I get a little sizzle action going, and I'm gonna add the sausage to it and the shrimp. Oh, and my roasted red peppers, because those were already done. All right, so while that's doing that, I want to talk to you guys about the topic today, which is relationships. Make sure, go on, Coach Cabrini. Okay, so, you know, <clears throat> relationships. Well, it's probably one of the hardest things that most people have to deal with is relationships. And, you know, all types of relationships, as I mentioned earlier, um, you know, I've been in a 17 year, 18 actually, October will be 18 year relationship. And what I've learned from my personal relationship, my family relationship, and the relationship with my friends is one thing that's very consistent. And um, I'd love to know what you think it is. Uh, I'll wait, how about it? Y'all think, type, type, type it in, because I'm gonna toss this food around, hold on. All right, now let me add a little seasoning to that. Mm -hmm. Add a little spike up in there. Hold on. Did y'all figure it out yet? The one common denominator? I'm waiting. There's one thing that is consistent. Garlic powder. Remember, I'm not here to cook, to teach you how to cook, although I'm showing you how I cook. The Gangster Chef is here to coach you while I'm cooking. And what's important to me is that you get something from the words that are coming out of my mouth. The most important thing is communication. It is number one. Okay, I'm adding my meat. So I've taken my sausage and I've sliced her up, you guys, diced her up, right? Okay, I'm tossing her in there and I'm gonna put shrimp in there. Oh, y'all wanna, oh my God, oh my God, oh my goodness, oh my God. Okay, really, look. Oh my God. Mm. Am I communicating this very well for you? Mm. Oh my God. Okay. Hold on, y'all. So, hold on. Y'all hear 
All right. So, whoop. Hold on, let me put a lid on her. Now, I don't think I have a lid that's gonna fit exactly. So you know you push that shit together, you make it work. All right, let me turn it down. And I'm gonna let her simmer a little bit as I continue to tell you that communication, communication is the most important part of any relationship. So if you find yourself at a crossroad in your relationship, if you find yourself, you know, at a at a moment in your relationship where um, it's going away, think about the communication. You know, there's no blaming here. There's no pointing of fingers. What I'm saying is, at this point in your life now, right now, this moment is all we have. So, at this moment in time, how can you communicate better? in your relationships. Some relationships you may have lost, some relationships you may have let go of, some relationships just does not serve you. And how about that? They just don't work for you. You know, I had a 25, 30 year relationship with a friend and I just really got tired of her um, not uh, being reciprocal as it relates to our friendship. I could tell her every single thing about her life but she didn't know anything about mine. She didn't care to know. Or she might have cared to know but didn't ask or took it for granted. Well, at some point in time, when you have a relationship with people that you care about, how about take the time to know about them? It's not just about you, boo. You know? So, um, relationships are very important. And I'm going to wrap it up once I plate my food and have my conversation, my ending conversation with you in the virtual cafe. I'll see y'all in a minute. Okay, you guys, so dinner is served. Okay, let me show you. Look at that. That is shrimp, zucchini, red peppers on a bed of spinach. Cheers to that. So let me just taste it. Y'all know I have to taste it for you right in front of you. Oh my God. Okay, so it's pesto with butter. Y'all know Julia Child said, you got to have a stick of butter. And shrimp with garlic and mushrooms. Oh my God. Okay. Remember I told you I did the shrimp like this so that you can pluck it. Mm, and you pinch the bottom. That's so good. Oh my God. Mm, sorry. To chew with my mouth open. Well, we're smacking. Do you have me smacking? I'm sorry, I don't mean to. Ooh, but it's so good, Lord have mercy. Okay, so <clears throat> those of you that are tuning in my name is Coach Cabrini. I am gangster chefing with food for thought. And today's thought is about friendship and relationship as it relates to your life. The question becomes, how are you showing up in your relationships with people? If things are not going right, you have to look at you. I'm sorry. As much as I don't want to, I'm like, I was here. Uh. No, that's not the point. The point is if there's a friction, if there's a problem, the question becomes how did you participate in the problem? How can you fix the problem, right? So these are the important things to know um, about dealing with relationships so that you can clear the pathway and be, do, and have the relationships that you want and learn from the ones that did not work, okay? so. I am hoping that this video is in the right direction. If it's not, guess what? I'm going to post it anyway, and you guys are going to have to turn your head sideways because this is some really good information that's coming through me. Um, so again, as it relates to relationships, I don't care if you are in a long-term relationship, 
if you're having problems with your mother, your sister, your cousins, any of that, how did you show up? And if you feel like you showed up 100% and or there's some things you need to tweak, that's okay. But at least you can see how you played a part in the problem, in the uh, dismissal, in the breakup, in the whatever it may be. You know, they talk about when you go to family reunions or you go to, to your parents' house for the holiday, how, you know, uh, it's sometimes the worst thing. Like, oh, Lord, my family makes me sick. Well, you know, how do you show up? Do you show up preparing that they're going to make you sick? Show up correctly in your relationships. Be present in the moment and make sure you have great communication with your relationships, with your family, and with yourself. Because remember, you know the secret. You know the secret. And if you know the secret, then you can fix it. I'm Coach Cabrini. I love you in that huge agape way. Welcome and thank you for coming to my virtual cafe. I will see you later. Remember, FTU is coming to you soon. Uh, enrollment is June 15th. I'll see y'all later. I love you. Bye. Okay, now y'all, I don't have my clicker, so I gotta get up. All right, this is gangster style. Gangster style. I love y'all. Bye.